So the simplest way, of course, is to use a thesaurus. A thesaurus it gives you collections of synonyms. So synonyms are uh, different word forms that refer to the same subject. So here's an example of a very good uh, thesaurus for its domain. So this is the, me the mesh thesaurus. This is, used the, this is used by the Medline database of uh, medical abstracts. Medline is a database that indexes uh, about every medical research study ever undertaken uh, on any medical subject. So it's a, it's a, it's a very good, uh, very comprehensive resource. Uh, but because these are um, because these are medical studies, they're done by people in different institutes in many different countries, uh, they will use different terminology to refer to the same thing. Of course, that terminology, uh, scientists use one terminology, doctors use another terminology, and if you're a patient and you're trying to find out what's wrong with you, you will use a very different terminology, right? Because you might have neck pain, and it wouldn't occur to you that somebody refers to neck pain as cervicalgia. Right. That's not a term that would pop into my head, certainly, if my neck started hurting. Right. <clears throat> but uh, a mesh thesaurus allows you to take a term like neck pain and look up a set of synonyms. So all of these terms are used in the literature to refer to neck pain in various ways. And you also have tree numbers. So these are uh, the mesh thesaurus. Uh, it's a hierarchical structure. So these numbers refer to the nodes in the tree, to the relevant nodes in the tree. So, um, if you use something like that for expanding your queries, by the way, the way you would use it is if your query contains neck pain and you've identified that as a token, as a phrase, uh, you would expand it with this set of synonyms. Right? So if you did that and you're searching Medline, you do actually get pretty good results. Why? Because this thesaurus was designed specifically for that purpose. What, it was designed to enrich medical queries, to put the right synonyms into medical queries. <clears throat> so if you have a resource like that, if you have a thesaurus that has been designed for your purpose, uh, it works really, really well. You can probably imagine that if you try to use it in an unrestricted setting, so if, 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 if you're Google and you want to use that as a set of expansions for neck pain, uh, your results are generally going to be horrible because you will match all sorts of unrelated things. So things like that work in a restricted domain for which it was built. They don't really work um, out in the wild. Another downside to this, building a resource like that is very time consuming and very expensive. So you need hundreds of people working over decades to develop a resource like that.